Hello and welcome to the Car Care Nut channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to service the high voltage battery fan filter on this third generation Prius. This will be the same from 2010 all the way to 2015. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out some of my other videos. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for watching another one of my videos. And without further ado, let's dig right into it. Before we get started, I just want to note a few things. There's two possible filters for this Prius. If you contact your dealership, they'll ask you which one do you need. And I'm going to give you both part numbers and I'm going to explain to you the difference. Somewhere around two, toward the end of 2012 into 2013, Toyota started adding a filter behind the vent from the factory. Now that filter looks like this. I really dislike this filter. First, it doesn't really cover the vent very well. Second, it is a little bit more involved to replace it and it's a very hard filter to clip on right to cover the whole vent and filter all the air. Now, they also sell the second style, which looks like this. This is a very easy one. This clips on the vent on the outside and this was mainly made for the ones that did not come with the filter from the factory. Now, my recommendation to you is if your car came with this filter, take it out, toss it out, and install this one. It'll make your life much easier, it'll actually filter better, and everything will be nice and easy. So having said that, I'm going to leave both part numbers. You can decide. I'm going to show you how to replace this one and this one on this car. So let's get to it. To replace the filter that is behind the vent, we're going to come back to the passenger side of the rear seat. We're going to fold the seat back like so. Now the vent is right here. Let me move this out of the way so you can see it. The vent is right here. However, in order to remove this piece to expose the filter behind it, you have to remove the bottom of the seat to get to a bolt that holds this to do all this mess. But here's a little trick for you. You hold the, the whole, this whole piece, you put your hand underneath it and you lift up. As you lift up, pull on this piece. This is what you want to happen in the end. There's a hook right here and I'll show you a picture of that. That hooks right here. All you're going to do is pull it up to unhook it and now it's open in this position. Now you're going to reach in and get the filter out. Now this is a new filter. Like we talked about, this car does not come with this filter behind. And like I said, I really dislike these filters. They, they're a pain to replace. And if I were you, I would remove this filter, throw it out, put the one on top of the vent. So I'm going to leave this one out for now because we're going to install one that's outside. To install this, do the same thing. Push this back, put your hand underneath, lift it up until you feel that connect. And we're good. It's as simple as that. And to install the filter that I recommend and I like, you're just gonna put it on the vent. Put the tabs in, just like that. See how easy that is? Super easy to vacuum, super easy to clean. If you ever wanna remove it, just put your finger underneath it. Pull it out, then you can vacuum it, clean it. Super simple, and just reinstall it back. That's it. That is much simpler than doing this whole mess to get to that filter that doesn't even close the hole right. So now you know how to replace the filter. I will say one thing. This style filter, I replace these regularly at work and I have a hard time, I will admit, clipping these on the right way. You have clips here certain tabs here and you got to line it up and you will be fighting with it for a good time. I highly again recommend you toss this guy out and install this for ease of future service. If your car doesn't have this and before you go following the procedure in this video, you can shine a light through the vent from the outside and see if you see this filter. If you don't have it, there's no point of taking everything apart. Just clip this filter on, keep it clean and you should have no issues. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, 
May the Lord bless you and keep you, and you have a wonderful day.